welcome back to my channel all right so i'm glad to have you guys back on the channel uh in this project we are going to be working on this telco customer john analysis project okay uh we we'll start from the scratch okay and then up to this point and then uh i promise you you're going to learn a lot from this particular project okay uh, you can see what we have you're going to learn a lot from this project okay so uh we have two pages you can navigate okay through to the second page where you have uh some the customer deals you know information some key recommendations okay you can uh select the idea of a particular customer that has joined and you can go ahead and see details uh important details about the customer all right you can see that uh so guys uh this is the project that we are going to be working on okay we start from scratch so i promise you you're going to learn a lot a lot a whole lot from this project so um without wasting our time let's just get straight into it let's go guys all right guys uh so let's go ahead and import the data set that we'll be using for this project okay so uh the data the link to download the data set for this project is in the description so make sure you download it and work alongside with me all right so uh i'm going to come here to get data then i'll come here to text or csv because uh the file i want to use for this project is a csv file okay so i'm going to click on this click on open all right so you can see what we have right here right so i'm going to click on transform data okay so uh this will open the power query editor of power bi okay so the power query editor is simply where you can do necessary data cleaning on it, on a given data okay but uh if your data was clean you can just click on load data okay but because i want to carry out some data transformation in this on this given data set that is why i, I have clicked on uh transform data okay and what i want to do actually is uh on this column okay as you can see we have zero zero and ones okay uh for senior citizens okay so if a person is a senior citizen then the entry will be one and if he's not if the customer is not a senior citizen then it's going to be zero so what i want to do now is i want to go ahead and i want to replace the zeros with no and replace the ones with yes okay so how do we go about that i'm just gonna uh come here just right click on it okay just right click on it then you see replace values okay then i'm just going to replace zero with no okay uh okay let me see what i have here okay okay i have to enter your number as a value so that means i can't do it this way now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to add uh um i'm going to add a conditional column now the reason this did not work is because this uh is numeric but let's try to see if i convert it to text let me see what i'll get now now i've converted this to text now so let me try to replace value and see if it will work so no good you can see that so it was not working because this column only accept numericals okay but now i converted the entries in this column to text so it doesn't really mean zero or one does not really mean zero means no and one means uh yes so it is okay if you can convert it to it is okay if you convert it to text since you are not carrying out any aggregation on that column do you get the point so i'm going to go ahead and just click on okay so all the zeros there will be converted to no's okay and then for the ones i'll go ahead and click replace value and change it to yes okay and click on okay so another way 
you could have done this is to add a conditional column all right and then to add a conditional column a conditional column you just come here to add column and then you select conditional column okay so uh, and then you go ahead and give the column a name select the name of the column which would have been what senior citizen so if the entry equals zero then the output should be no or else yes okay so that is what you could have done using uh the conditional column approach okay but it's still the same process so i'm going to close this all right now uh that is the only transformation i want to do i would like to do on this now something else that i also want to do if you look at this data right you can see that we have the idea of the customer the gender this if it is senior citizen or not is the person a partner or not a dependent or not now uh for the tenure the tenure is talking about if you all right if you look at this uh so senior citizen or not partner or not now for the tenures now i got this data from cargo okay from cargo all right so uh for the tenure the tenure is talking about how long the customer has stayed with the telecommunication company okay so you can actually go online and find out more about this data so you can just go to uh google and search about the data it, or on cargo okay uh tele telco chong data set because okay, so you get to know more about the data we are working with okay uh, so this tenure is talking about how long the customer has used with them okay so if i load more now you see that some have used like uh now this is a month okay some have used maybe between zero zero uh zero months up to what 72 months okay so the highest day is 72 months the uh longest the customer has stayed there is 72 months okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to group this tenures into different groups okay into those that have stayed for, for a short short period of time and then those that have stayed for a long period of time and then those that have stayed for a very long period of time okay so let's see how we are going to do that all right now uh to do that we are going to use the method of the conditional column okay you can see i, I just come to add column conditional column all right and then I'm going to call it tenure category. Okay, tenure category. All right. Now, uh, if column name, if tenure. Now, I'm I'm going to use zero to ten months for short. Okay, eleven to between eleven and fifty months to long for long. Okay, and then above fifty for very long. This is just uh for practice. Okay. If you are doing this kind of work for a client or for your boss, you can just go ahead to ask if you are asked to categorize uh, the tenure. Okay, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to use that demo interval. Okay, so if tenure, uh, it is if it is less or equal to ten, so I'm going to use less than or equal. So that means from ten below. Okay, less or equal to ten, since they are not negative so there's no there's nothing to worry about okay this is just simple inequalities all right so if tenure is less than or equal to 10 then the output should be short okay that means uh the customer has stayed for a short period of time right then i'm going to add a clause so else if uh the tenure is i'm going to use less or equal to 50 now now if, you, if i use less or less than or equal to 50 now okay this uh, clause will take you from 50 up to 11 why because the first clause has already covered for 10 downwards okay do you get a point there so just simple mathematics simple inequalities all right so for there i'm going to use long okay and then i'm going to add okay the last one now is uh if from 50 above sorry from 51 above so for that I, i'm going to use else so that'll be very long okay very long 
and then I'm going to click on OK. All right. So you can see the, you can see what we have. So I'm going to drag this so that I'll put it beside the tenure column and see what we have done. Let's see what we have. Um, let's give it, let's give it time. All right. So I'm going to place it in right here. All right. So you can see this. Uh, it's short. Okay. This customer has stayed for just one month. So that's it. that is a short period of time. Okay. This one has stayed. Uh, you can see that that is falling in the second range, uh, second category, which is long. Okay. And this one is what? Uh, very long. Okay. So I'll be. All right. So I hope you learned something there. All right. Uh, that is how you can use the conditional column feature of Power BI. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'll just go ahead and so you can see all the steps you took here that was showing here. In case you want to undo something, just go ahead and, and click on this X. All right, that is how to do Ctrl Z or how to undo a step in Power Query Editor. All right, so let's go back to home and then click on Close and Apply. Okay, so that this will load it back into Power BI Desktop. All right, let's go. Okay, let's wait for it to load. It's loading up. All right, so it's done. Good. So you can see that it's uh it has done that successfully, and right here is our data. Okay. All right. All right, guys <clears throat> so you can see what we have right here okay uh they got the idea of the customer the gender senior citizen or not partner or not dependent or not tenure all right and you already know what tenure means right and then we added it a tenure category right and then we also add a full service uh we have a full service uh column so you can go online and learn more about this data set all right now uh, you can see what we have everything is set now for the background of our dashboard you know how we always do it if you have watched the previous project okay you see that we always design the background in powerpoint and then go ahead and import it into power vi all right so let me show you the, the background we'll be using for this dashboard okay now uh as you can see this this is the background we're going to be using so i've already done the designing so i'll make this uh i'll make the powerpoint available for you guys okay but it's, this is something you can actually design on your own okay if you have watched the, the previous videos you can actually design this on your own so you can actually give it a try to try to design this on your own because that's how that's how you learn okay uh so and this is the second background that i'm going to be using okay so uh straight away we're going to import this into power bi desktop and then go ahead and start doing the necessary analysis okay then we go ahead and uh visualize the given data okay so let's go guys now you're back right here into power bi desktop so i'm going to come here to the formatting of the background and then i'll come here to the canvas background all right then i'll click on this browse then i'm going to bring this in the first one is for this okay i'm going to open it and then i'll come here to fit and then the transparency uh zero percent three zero percent zero percent okay now you can see what we have right here right so if you look at our data uh the first thing that i'm going to add now you, you see that i have segmented this background into two parts now we are going to put the details or the, the profiles of all our customers on this side and then the, the churned customers all right uh if you look at the data we have the customers that churn and those that that did not okay so if you don't know the meaning of churning 
uh, it's simply talking about customers that left probably uh, let's say you are you are a company selling product okay some of the customers that left they will say that they churned okay or the customers that did not come back to patronize you guys okay then you say these customers are churned okay? that's the meaning of this term all right so um so i'm going to have the details of all the customers here and then over here we're going to have uh, the details of the turn customers all right so what i'm going to do now is uh i'm going to do this i'm going to if you look at what i have here over here this customer id okay all right now i'm going to come here to add a new table all right for the measures uh just in case we need to add any measure okay all measures then i'm going to load it now what i'm going to do so let me wait for it now i'm going to add a new measure now uh this will be now before i do that let me explain something to you okay sorry if you come not this if you come here each of these like this is a record for a particular customer this is another record for a particular customer okay this is another record for a particular customer so we are going to count all of this so that will give us the total number of records that we have that is the total number of records that we have not uh the records of those that churned no that is the total number of records including those that churned and those that did not churn okay do you get the point so let's come over here and add uh the image of all total total number of customers okay i'm going to use you can since you cannot sum what i'm going to do is i'm going to count okay i'm going to count i'm going to count uh okay let's use distinct count okay for the and apply it on the customer id column okay the id uh column all right customer id column and then click enter and let's see what we have so i'm going to come here now and delete this column from here since i'm not using it okay all right so i'm, I'm going to click on this and convert this to a number okay add a comment to it just in case it's more than a thousand now if i had a card now if i yeah sorry oh man. all right so uh let's go ahead and add a card to see the total number of records that we have here so if i add a card now right here and then now this are the number of customers that we have the total number of customers that we have okay now let's now add uh, a card right to see the customers that churn the number of customers that churn how do we do that i'm going to come here to new measure and then i'm going to just let's just call it total churn customers all right now use let's use the calculate function okay and then give it uh the total number of customers that we have and then we filter it out to where john uh where the john equals to yes okay you close bracket click enter all right now i'm going to click on this try to zoom this out a bit right now and then if i let me just copy and paste this card and see what we have go ahead and bring now nope this should not be now now you can see that out of the seven thousand customers that we have one thousand eight hundred and sixty nine of them churned okay they left uh they stopped using the services of the the company okay so what are we going to do now what i'm going to do is this i'm going to format this card properly and all right so let's format 
his card properly uh you see just come here uh general i'm going to take away the background okay and then uh i'm going to turn this off okay and then try to reduce uh the value size of the value okay properly resize it and i'm going to bring it over here okay and then i'm going to change the color to white so it can become visible so from here i'm going to copy the format and give it to this too all right properly resize it and then bring it over here sorry Uh, the background is kind of like this small there so what I'm going to do to just save our time is I'm going to reduce the size of the bundle that we have here okay I like can see what you have here so that this is showing us that this is the total number of customers that are shown okay so don't mind this uh it's it's like uh a little bit of error from the size of the background that I designed. Okay, if if I had done this in Power BI, I could have been able to adjust this, but this is kind of too late now to do that. Okay, uh, so let me see if I can still. Now, this is still all right, all right? So, um, now you can see that this are the total number of customers that we have and then these are those that change okay now let's start adding some uh visuals here okay so the first visual i'm going to add is uh, let me just use this and see where we can go from there so for that i'm going to use the gender let's visualize the gender okay i'm just gonna drag just drag the gender to the legend okay and again drag the gender to values now if we check the gender column right here okay you can see that it, it's text okay so power bi cannot add text it's go it go ahead and count it for you so it, it count the number of males that we have there and then the number of females that we have there all right so uh let's go ahead and format this visual so that it can fit in here now what i'm going to do is simply uh come into the formatting first of all take up the background if it i'm going to take up the background all right then let's try to properly resize it here okay and then so I'm, I'm actually going to take out i'm going to take out uh i'm going to take out the detail labels all these labels i'm going to take it out then i'm also going to take out the legend if you watched the previous project you will understand what i'm trying to do because you know how we did it in the first project okay so if you have not you can watch that after watching this okay so um if i come let me try to take away the title okay now you can see what we have this blue part is for the female okay and this is for the male now let's go ahead and add uh a okay, let's go ahead and add a measure okay that will help us achieve what we want to achieve right okay so we're going to add a measure for the total number of males okay so i'm going to come here and call this males male customers okay then i'm going to just use the calculate where i'm going to use the total number of can you see now i'm using the total number of customers because this visual i'm putting there is for which one is for all the customer okay now you can use this if we are doing this on this side do you get the point now so i'm going to use total number of customers and then where the gender uh first of all for male okay should be a string Mail. Okay. I'll uh, copy the code. Then click enter. This will give us the total number of mail customers that we have. Okay. And then I'm going to add 
new measure for the female for the female customers all right now this is going to be female female okay then go ahead and click enter so this will give you the total number of female customers that we have okay now uh what we can now do is let me copy and paste this card okay i'm going to bring it here now for the female let me just take this off bring the female so you can see that we have 3488 now if you check here you can see that that is the same thing we have there so let's convert this let's add a comma to make out the number loop right uh for this let's also add a comma okay and then for this i'm going to properly resize it something very 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 little okay and then for the color let's go ahead and use black and make it bold okay now we're going to label it don't worry okay so you see what you are, if you, that's why i said if you that project you understand what we're trying to do so uh i'm going to add a text box now okay and then i'm going to type female okay uh, you can make code you can probably use this okay then properly resize it you see what i have is in the center okay and then i'm going to format this and turn on the background okay then i'm going down sorry drag this up here okay so you can drag it up here because of the space that we have so you can see that if we have female so the number of female customers that we have in the uh data right now but this is not enough okay i'll tell you why this is not enough but before then i'm going to i'm going to uh do this okay now this will be for the males okay and then I'm going to duplicate this card and bring it right up. Just follow my steps, okay? Make sure you're walking along with me. Don't just watch the video, okay? That's not you learn. Make sure you walk, walk along, all right? So for this, we'll take away this and add this, okay? See what you have there, right there, okay? Now, looking at this, this is not so comprehensive. Is not com comprehensive okay because i don't know which of the colors is male or which of them is female so let me quickly format this i'm going to come here to uh, the slices okay i'm going to change this color for male to almost more colors and then i'm going to add those the rgb colors so i'm going to use 67 uh 67 okay, and then for this i'm going to use 44 okay sorry 44 and then for this i'm going to use 122 okay 122 i see what you have there okay this and then for the female female i'm going to use uh i'm going to use 220 53 Okay, then for this 53. Okay, you can see what you have right there, which is looking pretty good. Okay, uh, not bad. So now we need to be able to distinguish between what we have. All right, uh, let's go ahead and come here. I'm going to come here to insert, then add shape. I'm going to add small circle then put my sheet key to properly resize it okay see what i have okay then i'm going to format this coming to the style uh the border i'll turn up the border and the fill 
uh, you can use this for you can see that this one is for the, the female okay it's colored for the female you can drag it and put it beside this here do you get it now you can properly place it where it's meant to be i think it's okay here all right and then uh for the male i'm going to do the same thing Control c or just copy and paste this then bring it over here Sorry about that. So just try to properly uh, place it well, and then I'm going to change the fill, the fill color. Just going to the style and change the fill color to this blue that we use for the males. Okay, good. I mean, I done there. So you want to add the percentage? Uh, okay, let's go ahead and do that. All right. So for that now, that means I'm going to add in a little bit of space then for the so you want your work to, to look good you need to put in the time okay so don't worry about the time is taking just focus on the, the results you get out of your work at the end of the day okay uh you see what i have here okay and then now let's go ahead and get the percentages okay so to do that now you go ahead and add new measure okay new measure and then I'm um, just going to call percentage female customer, alright? So that I'm going to use the divide function, the divide function, right? And then I'm going to use the female customers, right? Divided by the total number of customers that we have, not total turn, total number of customers. Alternative result zero, then I'm going to convert it to percentage, okay? I'm going to make it a percentage. All right, so I'm going to, just, going to copy this code and new measure uh, for that of percentage for the for the so percentage um, male customers. Just going to paste the code. This should not be there. All right, so then this should not be. Uh, female customers is going to be male, right? Male customers, all right. Then what? To, then like that. Then go ahead and convert it to percentage too. Okay, once it's done, convert the percentage. Now, um, what? You, okay, let me let's take away the decimal point just to make our look our work look better. Okay, for me, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do something for this. Okay, uh, zero. Okay, now I'm just going to copy and paste this card. Put it just right there. Okay, then I'm going to take this away and bring the percentage for the female. Okay, you can see that approximately 50%. Okay, since probably all we can do, let's just add one decimal point. Okay, all right. And you see what you have there uh that is maybe you can make it two so that you can properly see the breakdown since the numbers are they are kind of close okay the numbers are pretty close so i'm going to reduce the font size right then it's okay so you can see what i have there and then i'm going to use same thing for this all right so you can just take away this and bring in the percentage for the female for the male then just go ahead and also format this uh to two decimal place then all right so you can see that 50.48 percent of the, of our total customers are male okay and then i'll probably resize this card so you can place it here okay not bad so and we are done for that i hope you got what we did there all right so if you enjoyed this video so far make sure you give the video a thumbs up all right subscribe subscribe to the channel all right for more projects like this okay so I, I post projects from time to time projects that you can use in your portfolios okay uh so the next thing i'm going to 
uh, add now is I'm going to add a chart like this this bar chart right over here so on um, what I'm going to do is simply I'm just going to bring uh, you know for the senior citizens all right the senior citizens I'm going to bring the X axis here and also bring senior citizens to it. so it's just go ahead and count it for us okay it's go ahead and count it for us now what we can do now let me see <coughs> okay good that has helped us to take away the background now what what I'm going to do now as you can see right here right we have that just this number of people are senior citizens these ones are not senior citizens okay so what i'm going to do now i'm going to come into the formatting let's format it and for the uh i'm going to turn on the x axis completely or turn on the title there all right i'm just going to turn on turn on the data labels all right see what we have there okay something like this yes okay just properly resize it then okay let's turn out the title so that the wire is too so we can have enough space okay um, i don't know why this yes it's not showing okay so you can see what we have here right okay so let's see if we can resize it properly all right okay good now uh can i go ahead can go ahead and and give it uh and change the color of the bars to fit in what we have here so i'm just going to come here i'm going to come here to the formatting you see come here to the bars and change the color to this okay and then uh the data labels i'm going to change the color to white values we can make it bold Make the color white. Okay, nah, this is not gonna show. If, if if I make it white, this is not gonna show. But let's see. Uh, we can add a background for it. Okay, and probably make it black. Let's see how black will look like. Okay, not bad. All right, so you can leave it like that. And then uh, I don't really like the background anyways. Turn it off. I'm just gonna leave it like that. And maybe you can just change the position to outside end. Let's see. Yeah, good. And then uh, let's go ahead and format the this properly to make it pop out, right? I'm gonna make it bold. Can you see that? So you can see that uh, for the senior citizens, 5.9k of the customers are not senior citizens, but these ones are senior citizens, right? This is just approximation because you can see that it's in thousand, right? I'm just going to duplicate this. All right, and uh, bringing. I'm going to bring in those that are partners. Okay, I'm going to bring this into partners. I'm here to partners. Okay, these are partners and this. So just so you can see what we have there. Okay, now but we need to have titles okay so i'm just going to come and copy this from here and put it over here okay properly enlarge it and then i will uh, call this senior uh senior is that yes senior c t things Okay. All right. So you can see what we have there. All right. Let's see if we can resize it. All right. Good. Okay. And then I'm going to copy this and bring it over here. Okay. And then I'm going to call this just put the right labeling partners the partners or not okay uh <clears throat> now let's go ahead and add some more stuff some more 
some more uh, visuals okay so I'm going to I want to have uh, okay, uh, for those let's see those that are dependent okay yeah uh, the number of customers are dependent right there and then we also want to see I think that is going to be odd all right so this is what I'm going to do I'm going to convert this uh, this one that I have here okay to this for the partners all right I'm going to convert this one to um, doing this to dependent okay customers are dependent or not okay all right just uh and then okay so okay then for this one i'm going to change this to a column chart okay or well, those are partners okay just drag it or oh, properly resize it okay all right so you can see what i've done here now let me quickly go ahead and space what you have here okay and then give properly arrange them okay all right guys so you can see what i've done here so i just try to like properly arrange them and then I change the color of the slice for the uh the female all right so, so you know how you can do that just come to the, just come over here to the slices and change the color for, for the female okay so i basically want uh this side this color to flow with this okay that was why i changed this to this okay so now we are done with the demographics now let's go ahead and do and have the demographics for the customers that churn okay so how do we do that we just simply uh repeat the same thing but the difference now is that if you look at this now i copy and paste this right and drag it over here all right now uh if i expand this now the gender this time around is i'm going to take this away so the value will bring let's just bring the total number of churn customers that we have okay total number of churn customers that we have so you can see that 939 customers that churn are female okay and then uh, 930 customers that churn are male okay now uh i'm just going to so let me go ahead and copy this okay and bring them over here okay all right so you can see what we have now so the next thing we're going to do now is go ahead and change these values okay uh let's get the number of females to add new measures for the number of females that chunked the number of males that chunked all right and then also get your percentages okay? so let's go ahead and do that guys so just make sure you're following along and you're practicing along all right uh so so churn they just call it you can call it whatever you want so i call it churn mails then i'm going to use calculate function calculate function all right i'm going to pass in uh churn mails now i'm going to pass in the total total coming total churn customers all right now all right and then i'm going to wear the gender equals male all right make sure it's in the string male close bracket copy this code and click enter all right then i'm going to add a new measure for new measure so okay let me just paste it then i'll call this john females okay john females 
So we're going to use the calculate function. But this time around, the gender should be female. Okay. I click enter. All right, now you can come to this card now. All right, just click on this card and then bring in the churned males. Okay, you can see that 980 female, 980 males. All right, churned, and then uh, the churned females now. You can see that now around 39 of them churned. All right, so let's go ahead and also uh, get the percentages. So we just go ahead and add a new measure. Okay, so percentage John males. So I'm gonna use the divide function, alright. Uh the John males. John males divided by the total number of customers that joined. Okay. Total number of customers that total number of sorry. Should not be that should be this one, okay. Alternate result is zero. Then click enter, and then make sure that you convert the result to a percentage. Okay. Then that's what males, right? So you can go ahead and bring it in here. Take this out from here. This is John males. That is it there. All right. So let's go ahead and add a. Let me copy this code to save our time. So add a new measure for uh, a percentage um, percentage for a chunk chunk uh, that is funny yeah no John um yeah and I'm gonna just I've copied a lot so I'm just gonna take this oh, sorry about that divide then this is gonna be a uh, chunk females right Chunked females because percentage chunked females. See, copy the load. So, um, I think we're on point, right? We're on point. So, click on enter. Make sure you convert it to percentage, okay? Percentage, all right. Then go ahead and bring it over here. Percentage chunked females. Can you see what we have right here? Very good. Now, uh, I'm just go ahead and change this color, right? I'm going to change the colors that we have here. So, come here to the slices, all right? Uh, for the thick one, I'm going to use this. Um, and then let's just look for a lighter one for this. No, sorry, a lighter kind of a reddish color. Kind of, let's see what we can use. Let's see this. Not bad this, this is okay so uh this is for female right so let's go ahead and change this color now we have the style the fill right there and then this sorry this one uh the style the fill use this so uh, the, so that's for the male this are this is the G the gender breakdown of the customers that joined. Okay, uh, now let's go ahead and do this same, th repeat the same thing for this. Okay, so make sure you're following along. All right, don't just watch the videos. Download the data and practice alongside with me. Okay, so uh, let's just repeat this. Okay, so I'm just yeah, I'm going to copy this too. And just try this. Yes, no. Drag it over here. Okay. All right. So uh, then you can probably bring this over here. Okay. Now, senior citizens numbers. We need to format this properly because uh, senior citizens really want breakdown of senior citizens. When uh, talking about the customers that churn, right? So bring this to the values, right? So you can see what we have. So this is 0.5k. Let's change those values properly. 
for monthly value i'm going to come into the data labels instead of using the uh auto i'm going to use none let's see none yeah none it's okay so i'm going to use none uh and then i think they are just okay where they are or if we see let's see inside end and then we change the color to white all right good i think this is not bad okay all right so you can see the breakdown i have right there okay and then let's do the same thing for the dependent okay copy and paste is right here okay then i'm going to copy this also bring this over here okay uh then let's come over here and change colors all right have the right colors all right just come into the bars so i think i using do this let's this okay and then for this uh dependent all right so we're going to bring uh dependent against the john turn of customer that john all right can you see that then let me just copy the formatting copy the formatting from here and give it to this guy too all right so uh then for the data labels all right i'm just going to come here to uh data labels i'm going to change it to auto should we make it awesome uh the let's just make it now okay and then uh, uh, i'm thinking that since this one is short and the value is not really showing properly i just make it outside and so you can they will then go ahead and make the values black i think that would be better okay that would be better all right and then uh i'm go ahead and repeat that same process for this okay uh for the partners okay Okay, just start to like properly arrange them, space them a little bit. Okay, you see what I have right there. Okay, can you see that? Good. So, uh, this one is for the partners, partners are uh, in the area for joint customers. All right, so I'm just gonna change the color. Okay, of the bus to fit in what we have all right so good and we are done with the uh, demo graphics uh, part okay see what we have here so you can see that when it comes to the gender the total number of customers that are actually churned uh it's kind of close okay and those that churned when it comes to the senior sitting area you can see that most of them are not senior citizens okay those are john right and then uh and then this is still kind of close okay uh so let's go ahead and consider the phone services area okay the phone services area and see how things are going over there now um for that now we're going to start with the phone service let's see what we have okay let me just uh, add a chart, a visual from here. Okay, let's see about time and copy from this. Copy this one. So now to do the, um, you know, the formatting all over again. Okay. So let's. I'm going to bring in phone service. All right, the phone service and also the phone service just count. Okay. So you can see that. For all the customers, majority of them have phone service. Okay, most of them have phone service. So let's convert the data labels there to black because what I'm seeing is not so good. Okay, you can see the, the phone service. Most of them uh, have phone service actually. So you can just uh, copy um, one piece. 
okay. Phone service, all right. You can see what you have there, okay. I can drag it up a bit if you want to. All right, very good. This is not bad. All right, now, um, let's also go ahead and check their online security. The online security, let's see what we have for that. The online security okay um the online security where are you right over here you can see that so uh kiss then i'm going to bring in uh here again all right so like i said right you want to get to know more about this data just go ahead and just go to cargo or just go on google right and search for telco customer churn data set right so you get to know more about the data set right so i'm going to convert this to this kind of chart okay because of the space i'm trying to use something that will not take a lot of space um maybe i'm just going to use this then probably resize it okay because we have some other uh you just add all right so if we get to have you know space after adding the others then you can now you can go ahead and uh arrange them properly okay so you, I'm gonna bring this one here too. So this one is for their online security. The online security. Okay. Online security. Okay. I see what we have there. This is not bad okay just one decides it and then you can crank it up a bit let's see what you have there okay um all right let's go ahead for now then if you need to do any formatting we go ahead and do it okay um let's see the kind of internet type uh they're using okay um let me see this the internet type so let's see the internet type for uh so that is i right i internet type internet service okay uh okay you can see that most of them are using the fiber optic internet service all right so i'm going to use the funnel charts okay do the furniture for that um, all right so uh for space reasons i've i want to like rearrange them this way okay uh just so that we can maximize the space that we have available here okay uh if you're going to be doing this kind of project actually you you can actually go and have a custom size right let me show you how you can do that just for future purposes let's come here and come here canvas settings and then use the custom and then give the height and the width you want to use okay uh, but you know we're already doing this so you have to go ahead and maximize the space that we have from the background okay and then this is a uh, this is talking about their online security now this one is talking about the internet service they are using the kind of internet service uh we are using, the customers are using here okay so let's name that internet okay internet service
service service all right and that is it okay uh next one i'm going to talk about is uh that i'm going to add here is the tech support do they have tech tech support all right uh tech support yeah that is it, tech support so let's go ahead and add that so we've added for the phone service we've added online security uh now let's add tech support all right so for that let's we're going to use this okay uh the tech support let's see can just add them right over here right over there all right you can see what we have okay we can drag it over here okay uh we have two two more to add we also add the online backup and then the multiple lines okay see these have multiple lines among the cost among our customers all right so let me uh so this is for the tech support tech support and then uh you can also add for the online backup right the okay this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do this i'm gonna try this one over here okay just make sure that you are working along okay that's how you learn all right and then if you're enjoying the video so far you should give the video a like all right and subscribe to the channel all right so sorry for the filtering i so i'm going to copy paste so for the online backup all right so come here to online backup this is it let's come to hold right here do they have online backup all right so you can see that okay actually actually the same thing i'm just gonna leave it right there okay so this is tech support this is for mm, come over here come on sorry about that so you have to see okay uh you are facing this kind of issues you can solve it from uh the format just make the format all right and then you can send back or send forward all right so that's one of them will go to the back all right i won't all come to the front so you have less of these issues okay so this is uh the online backup right so let's give it the right time so then online backup Back up, okay, and that's what we have, all right. So I can bring this one up a bit and have something like this. I have enough space for this, too. good now um let's see good so you're trying to properly arrange all right now um what else can we add something else that i'm gonna add now is i'm going to add uh a device protection device protection okay uh let me use a column chart so let's see the customers have device protection or not 
and under their phone services device protection okay device protection all right so you can see what you have here all right uh, let's see let's give it a time to device protection all right so we are done on this side all right so uh we need to repeat the same thing now uh it's, it might seem boring but you know you're working on a project so you have to finish it okay it might seem boring like you're repeating uh this kind of things over and over again but you know you're working on your project so you want to finish it right and then this is a tutorial you are learning so you have to commit yourself to finishing it all right that's how you learn okay so uh let's go ahead and repeat the same thing over here okay so i'm just going to copy and paste okay copy and paste um okay this is for the phone service all right but this time around it's not for all the customers it's for the, the customers that are churned okay the customers are churned so let's see how we can do that All right, so uh, this time around, uh, we for the values now. So you might be wondering, why are we not using this total number of customers in our X agents here? You can actually use it, okay? You, you get the same results, okay? Uh, so, but I'm gonna bring total chunk, okay? You can see what we have there, and then I'm just gonna take away the. I, I don't really like uh, what we uh, the values i'm just going to take it away from gonna use none okay and then uh so that's for phone service the next one is for the i'm just going to do it like this uh immediately let's change the colors immediately all right so that we have to reduce our work okay and the John online security now oh my what did I do so let's go ahead and drag it over here okay and then change the values accordingly all right I'm just gonna come here to here okay uh take this away and bring in the total number total number of customers that chunk okay you can see i'm going to copy the formatting from here and give it to it can you see what we have there okay um the data labels values okay good and then let's do the same thing here you see that so we have okay all right so let's copy the um title internet service all right then go ahead and change values accordingly don't want this i want this right over here okay then change uh you know okay might not give it to it okay um so the necessary things that you need to do so the values all right and then the online backup okay 
all right so let's go ahead and do that again so you don't have to rush yourself just make sure you do it okay make sure you do it um you're learning okay then online backup okay uh change all right uh, i don't know why this guy is not changing myself okay and then the next one is the tech support Oh my. Mm. Take support. Okay, right there. Okay, you can see. Uh, the customers that joined on the considering those have the tech support, all right. So and then good. Uh, we're almost done, okay. And the last thing that we are going to be adding is this device protection. Right, so you can see now. Uh, properly arranged, so you can have some space for the last one. Okay, the device protection now, right? Okay right there then go ahead and bring this all right good so you see what we have there change this accordingly not you it's this okay then we'll go ahead and format it I should be Okay, uh, display unit none, and then the columns give it the right color. That is it done. So, uh, and lastly, now you can see that gradually we are almost done. Now, so uh, please, you do me a favor now, right? By liking the video, please like the video and then uh, drop a comment if you have any question, okay, or if you have any project in mind that you want us to work on. Just go ahead and drop it in the comment all right we'll work on it and then uh also make sure you subscribe you subscribe if you have not okay subscribe to the channel uh for more projects okay all right so let's continue guys uh for the the contract now let's see uh what we can do for the the contract all right <clears throat> so we can hard uh so let's see right for the contract okay so i'm just going to copy paste this bring it over right here resize so i'm going to call this contract contract right there then i want to change what we have here all right because uh let me contract you can take this out of here contract line right here okay and then not legend why is this so uh if you can see what we have here so for the contract we have 
the monthly uh month to month okay if you look at it very well sorry a mistake there mm, all right so if you zoom it in okay you can see we have month to month contract we have two year contract and then we have the one year contract so you can see that most of the customers are in the month to month contract right so um let's resize this okay let me even see if I can use this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's for the contract itself. So, then uh, let's see if you can for the Eternal now. Eternal. from here and you can remember we work on the tenure column right the tenure category so let's see tenure category so you can see that most of them are the customers are in the long category okay for the tenure so let's see Let's give it tenure. Okay, and then uh, let's also go ahead and add uh, the uh, payment method. All right, so you can see this. You know, the payment method. from here now uh, if you look at it properly right you see the different payment method that we have there we uh, have the electronic uh, the email check, the bank transfer automatic. Okay, the that is the automatic bank transfer. Then the credit credit card automatic. All right, so these are the different payment types that we have there. Okay, um, now let's give you the editing like that. Okay, right over here. So, good. Now, now you can see what we have. All right. So let's go ahead and do the same thing over here. Over here. So let's see uh, the joint customers. How is going on with them? Okay. Um. This is contract. All right, and um, this one here is let's bring them away first, then go ahead and change values. So the tenure. And then lastly, this we have right there. So right there. Okay. Um now let's go ahead and change the values accordingly so and this this is what I want I want the values for the customers that churn alright 
Okay, so you, now this is something I should take note of. But before we do that, let's go ahead and change the uh, the display of the data levels. Um, looking for the okay, the values, right? No, no. You will see that. Let me. I'm just gonna make the color white, uh, not the data levels. All right. Now you see that the longest one right over here is. Let's give it a kind of background. Okay, background. All right. Good. So you see that those that are in this month month contract, they tend to leave. They tend to they tend to leave the. Uh, they, they tend to stop using the service okay so most of the customers that churned are in these contracts okay, so it is work it is very, very it is necessary or you can say it's important that the telecommunication co company look into this month to month probably the contract is not uh, really satisfying enough to keep the customers okay all right so we add that in the uh, recommendations okay so I'm going to rename this page to the, uh, to the home page. Okay. Now, uh, what else can we do now? Um, I'm going to change the color. All right. So let's click on this. I'm going to change the color to what it supposed to be. Sorry about that. This. Okay. And then um, for the tenure, don't forget that not change the, the values. Okay, uh, so we want for the total customers churned. Now, uh, if you remember our we are doing the the categorizing, all right? zero to ten months was categorized as short you can see that most of the customers that use uh that use the services in between zero to ten months period of time they tend to churn okay they, they tend to leave okay so uh th this is something you should also take note of okay and then um lastly now the payment type so let's see let me probably resize this okay uh, now the, the payment type now the payment type payment type uh, sorry it's me right over here so I'm just gonna bring in this you see you all right good and then uh, now you can see that for this payment method, this electronic check, most of the customers are churning. Okay, they are using that payment type. Yeah, it's possible. Maybe uh, there might be issues with that payment type. So it is also important that the company look into that payment method, right? Because most of the customers using that payment method, they tend to churn. Okay. All right, so let's not forget to change colors. Ah, uh, right. So let's see what we have. Uh, come over here. Uh, columns. Change color to the rice format. Okay. Good. I are done with this first part alright so you can see what you have done so far now beyond just creating visuals alright you should be able to uh, properly properly um, talk about what you have done talk about or interpret your visualization okay so what you have done so far here is we, we have compared the uh, Customers are churned, right? To, to the to, to all the customers that we have, right? So, in in summary, now we have this total number of customers, and then 
out of the number of customers that we have okay these are the number that churn right then looking at their demographics all right probably in terms of their gender we have that these are the number of females that we have all right just considering all the customers but these are the number of males or females that churned these are the number of males that churned right these are the number of senior citizens that churned right so that is what we have done here right now the next thing i'm going to do now is something that is quite interesting and then i'm just going to add a new page here all right just for the customer details this is just going to be details of, of the customers that churned right uh oh, let's call it churned or yeah, John, okay. John is okay. John customer details. I just spell it right. It's customer details. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to format this page by bringing in a background, like you always do. You know, I've designed a background for that. All right. So I'm just gonna bring it in. Uh, I'm gonna bring you this one. Then fits okay. Then transparency is gonna be zero. So we're just going, just going to uh, do some interesting things there. Now uh, we're going to add a feature such way that anybody, that, anyone that is using our dashboard can come here and get information about the customer that shown. All right. Maybe you want to see, you want to see whether. Uh, okay, just come here for us search out the id of the customer all right and then you go ahead and see the name of the customer is gender just get to see the general information about that particular customer that you have selected all right so it's not difficult it's just something that you can do very very quickly i'm going to add a slicer first then i'm going to add the customer id all right customer id is what i'm going to add in slicer all right so you can see that yeah actually a lot of them so let's try to format this slicer the values let's make them kind of bold enough to be seen okay and let's try color okay i, I don't know if it's called okay Th this color is not actually bad you can actually use it okay but let's see what we can do maybe if you if you do something like this and no 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 <laughs> not good not good not good right okay so i'm just going to use this so it doesn't really matter okay and then i'm going to turn off the header with slicer because we already have customer id written here and then i'm going to come into the slicer setting all right i'm going to use drop down okay oh my god so i'm going to resize it properly it's what i have here okay, now i'm going to bring this here uh let's see what we can, maybe we can turn on the background yes this is not bad so properly resize it so you see what we have here all right so and then let me see the value i think we already made it bold maybe we can uh you can see it here so this is the so we have all the ids here right so you can come here now boss before we do this all right what i've done is actually wrong why because we want this to be uh details of the customers th that have churned but th the ideas i've added here is for, is for all the customers okay so this is what we're going to do i'm going to okay i will leave this i'm going to change it though but uh i'm going to add a, a new table like a new table that contains churned customers alone okay so how do we do that it's not difficult just go ahead and come into the this tab all right and then i'm going to click on this table all right i'm going to click on new table okay then i'm going to call this table john customers john customers all right i'm going to call it john customers all right then i'm going to use the function called calculate table okay calculate table now i want to get this thing from another table which is the telco uh john data okay 
the tail quotient data. Now, if I close the bracket here, that means I want this new table that I'm creating to be exactly this table, all right? But that is not what I want. What I want is where the churn, okay, where uh, I'm looking for where the churn column, I don't know where it is now. Okay, um, where is, is it? Um, now, okay, where this column, right? Where this, yes, because wherever it's yes, that's where, that means the customer there has churn, right? So, I want to have those records alone in this table, okay? I'll click enter and see what we get. So you can see how this table looks like. It is a, a calculated table. Now you can see what we have here. Okay, it's all yes because these are all the customers that are shown. Okay, uh, as you can see, the number of rows that we have we have 1869 rows, which is uh, consistent with uh, what we got here. So that is a, a way of confirming that you have actually done the right thing. Uh, I don't know why my uh, app is slowing down. Okay. Now you can see what we actually have, right? So you can see that it's consistent with what we actually have right, right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do what we want to achieve, okay? So I'm going to edit this filter now, this uh, slicer now, by taking this out, all right? I'm bringing customer IDs of the customer that churned, right? From the churned customers, okay? Bring that ID in here. Okay, so I hope you get the point, all right? So if you select any ID, it is actually an, an ID of a customer that has churned, okay? And uh, I think I'm going to reduce the size so that anyone that comes here can actually see the value on time instead of just trying to ignore. You know, you know, see that it's too big. Uh, I think this is better. Is better, you can see the ID completely. Okay, um, now we want the name to be seen, the gender to be seen. How do we do that? It is not difficult, all right. Just follow my steps. I'm just going to use cards. Okay, now this is where you know most of the cards that I've been using in our project they're majorly number cards, numeric cards. Okay, so but here now you are going to learn how to use what how to create text card okay so i want names okay so i'm going to bring in names from this ah uh, there are no names <laughs> i actually thought they were names there are no names actually oh my god i thought they were names uh, as you can see there are no names actually there are no names oh uh, so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use this as id okay so it's this is a mistake on my Okay, this should not have to be an issue. We can actually correct it from our, our, our PowerPoint and then bring in the, back, the background again. So let me go ahead and correct that and bring it in again, okay? So that should not be an issue. All right, so I've uh, done the correction. So let, let me just go ahead and import it again. Come back background, take this off, bring it in right there. So I uh, change to ID, okay, instead of name. So just going to be uh, ID, okay? So if you are searching for anything here, the ID is what it's going to be shown here, okay? Uh, now, I hope this is not affecting. <laughs> Let me see what I have. Uh, I don't know why this is slowing down. It's really, really slowing down. Okay, so it's not affecting it. So it's only really affecting what I have here. So, um, so I'm going to drag IDs, customer ID into this card now when you do this this is going to just uh dragging the first customer id like by default let me clear this filter now if i clear this filter all right by default power bi is going to show us the first customer id that we have here okay, by default so i'm just going to uh see and um, let me see can you see if i can uh, I don't want that ID to be showing. So, properly resize this, okay, to fit in what we have here. Okay, then let's go ahead and turn off the background of the car, all right? General effect and turn off the background, okay? Uh, I th think this is a little big. So, so let's reduce the value, the size. Uh, 
this is 30 let's make it bold right and then i don't want this to show okay why am i stretching myself i'm just going to <laughs> i don't know why <laughs> sorry i'm just trying to i just turn this off instead of trying to stretch myself hiding it okay so you see what we have there right there right there and that is it okay so is 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 id okay that's id okay and then uh let me just uh control c control v then bring in the gender okay the gender right here so this is going to bring the first gender okay the first gender in the list but don't worry it will change as you as you are uh, change the ids okay that means the gender of this customer is actually female there are the two genders right there okay so then for the age do we have, do we have age oh my god we don't have age i thought we have age there's no age in my data actually uh maybe that is also not an issue what we can do what we can do is uh right maybe change it to something else let's see what else can we change it to dependence already here since there's no age um all right so i'll work on that there's no age so sorry about that my error okay i don't know why i thought i was age so i'm just gonna see what i'm gonna do here so this is id this is gender then senior citizen or not let's see just take this away um uh senior citizen senior citizen right there oh sorry about that sorry about that no 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 this one address so senior citizen this is it yeah so you see what we have so uh this customer there is not a senior citizen so if you come here and pick a different customer you can see that it will change accordingly so the id will change the, the gender will change so if, if, if you want to see id of a particular customer that churned all right so you can just come here you want to get information about a particular customer that churned all right so you can just come here and, and see it okay so just select them it's male senior id senior citizen no okay so like that okay so as, as you can see that most of them are not senior citizens okay all right so let's go ahead and do the same thing for this other categories it's not gonna take your time let's make sure that i do it okay so i'm going to reduce this one a little bit so that 25 is okay all right so you see what i have there so um for the phone service now so we're just taking this away from here i'm bringing in phones make sure you're bringing data from the churn customers not from the telco churn data all right i hope you know why you're doing that all right and then the phone service is what i have here okay uh the internet service so for the internet service now just take it here this is the internet service the customer is using then uh for the tech support is it tech support let's see uh no tech support do we uh there's no tech support as you can see that there's no tech support okay let's take support for this particular customer All right then online backup online backup no okay then lastly online security sorry device protection not online security so i was thinking online security in my mind okay so you see what we have there okay so th this is the details of the customer of this particular customer right so uh we can also go and see if it's a partner or not okay so let's see if it's a partner or not okay it's not dependent or not uh just look at that 
okay you can see that it's not gonna take your time then the contract type let's see the contract type yeah the contract all right the contract so it's actually month to month okay then the tenure the tenure now and so for this tenure i'm not going to use the tenure category i'm just going to use the tenure itself let's see how long uh the customers how many months the customers used all right so as you can see it's just this customer has used 15 months okay 15 months uh with the company with the telecommunication agency see, should it be company or agency i don't know okay but we get the point okay this this is the payment method uh the payment method the customer is using electronic check okay uh and then you can see we are done okay now um this is actually very okay so you can see information about uh a cost a customer that you select all right so good and let's see what the next thing that we need to add now is uh we need to add um recommendations now but before we add recommendations can see we have two pages here so i think uh it's not bad if we add uh it's not bad if we add page navigation keys or buttons okay so let me show you how you can do that all right so you're actually learning a lot of things in, from this project a lot of things from this project i'm, I'm just going to i'll come here to insert just add a button okay uh let's add maybe we can use a uh, for this one let's use the right arrow okay and place it somewhere right here so we're going to place it somewhere here all right shape i think it's it's not really bad so let's try to format it bad shape and we can uh no i'm just gonna leave it as uh the corners well what is this okay um no i want this style here yeah, this style here we can so is this some not in the text uh, sorry about this please so let's add the action actually action the action should, should, should not be back should go to the next speed navigation okay Page navigation which page now should bring it bring us right here okay uh that is it so you can actually put it here so if i if you control and click all right this will take you to the next page okay and then for this one i'm going to use this button right here okay so uh, i'm going to format this uh, let's come and format it then uh the shape maybe style i don't know why this is uh oh line color line color what oh, this is what i've been looking for you can see what i've been looking for uh so for this you can hold control and click then this will take you back to the uh the home page so that's how you can use navigation in power bi right so i i think uh on for and i'm not clicking so the style the feel already the the, 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 the like from few not few now not text the style the icon line color let me keep it black enough so you can be seen all right can you see that think this is okay guys okay so you can properly resize it uh good so you see what we have okay and we are almost done all right and let's go ahead and add some recommendations now what how do you know which recommendation you can talk about you already saw what we did if you saw what we're talking about you can see that uh the month-to-month -month contract all right should be uh 
given attention because most of the customers are uh, having this month to month contrast tend to churn okay so you can focus on that all right so maybe and just use one of these text box okay uh, Oh, sorry. It's not. It's not. It's not a text box. It's a card. Okay, it's a card. All right. So, uh, sorry about that. So, let me just add a, a text box from here. Save my time from here. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, maybe you can just use this. And you know, so there's a list there. That might save us some time. Okay. So just go ahead and go and add the recommendations. So you can say the month to month contract type should be given more attention, all right? As customers. So that app sub subscribe. Uh, I don't know why I keep forgetting this. Do I say uh subscribe right for the for that contract? So you can just try and explain this in your own words. Okay, I'm just trying to see it in my own words. Then. To churn, okay. Let's add another one. Uh, what else did we not see? I don't know why it's is slowing down. It's at least slowing down, slowing down really. So, uh, for the tenure, okay. So, customers having okay, customers. Customers that have subscribed uh, okay or you just see that I've used between zero to ten months ten to John. so most of the customers that you know that are in between zero and ten months okay tend to chunk okay, so it is important that uh, proper attention should also be given to that area okay, so you can look into that and then let's see so just check through just check through the uh, since you already understand what you have done okay, so Make sure you just go ahead and uh, drop some recommendations. So you can see that people who don't take support to, they tend to join. That's one. That's another one. People without device protection, they, they tend to join. Those without online backup, tend to join. Those using this fiber optic uh, internet service, tend to join. Those without these, uh, without online security, tend to join. Those, okay, no, this is so. You can just go ahead and add that too okay so let me just quickly add that right all right guys so uh, as you can see i've added uh, the necessary uh recommendations so you can also just go ahead and, and reason along all right and try to see what you can recommend in your own words okay what you think uh this telecommunication company should do okay based on what we have done so far okay uh you can see what we have okay uh we are done with creating uh the work now so guys uh please kindly support the channel by uh liking this video if you have watched up to this point you are amazing okay uh you are so amazing and then shows that you are actually ready to learn okay so just go ahead and give the video a like so that more people can get to see this video okay and then uh also 
drop a comment if you, if you learned something uh if you have a project that you might want us to work on okay a, a project idea just drop it in the comment we'll try to work on it okay then also make sure you subs subscribe if you have not okay uh and that is guys so we will be posting uh more projects now okay uh, at least weekly okay so make sure you subs subscribe all right and then guys take care